All right, this week's Chalk Talk, we're going to talk about the wide nine and the wide five. Before I talk about the ramifications of lining up in those positions, let me just give you some background real quick. Now, let me talk about the gaps. We've talked about this on earlier episodes of our show, but let me just refresh your memory. When you talk about the gaps where the running back likes to run through, this is considered the A gap, the B gap, then the C gap. Obviously, on the other side, it's the off A gap, the B gap, and with the tight end there, you have the C gap between the tackle and the tight end. If there's no tight end, then the C gap is between the line and the tackle. So what we're going to talk about now is the technique that they line up at. The defensive end, the pass rushers typically line up in a five or a nine technique depending on what's on their side. To the open side of the field where you don't have a tight end, if you line up right here on the outside shoulder of the offensive tackle, that's considered a five technique. And when you're close, you just call it five. But when you line up wide, like a lot of pass rushers like to do, that's considered the wide five technique. What I like about what the Houston Texans are doing, they're mixing it up. Sometimes the defensive linemen get in a wide technique or sometimes they stay tight. And the reason this is important because other teams out there, like the Philadelphia Eagles early in the season, they emphasize lining up in wide fives and a wide nine technique. And what that does, it makes sure that the offensive tackle and the tight end has to fly out to their spot to protect the quarterback, but in favor of the offense, it opens up the running lane. So if you're in a wide technique and you're rushing and the offensive tackle is blocking, then your guard blocks down. It leaves a gaping hole for that running back to run through. You have not seen that with the Texans because they do a good job of bringing the guy closer in during those plays.